Hey guys. So my laptop is broken. Um, it was actually broken when I got back from Hawaii. So I have not been able to send out tips for the week emails. So I am doing a tips for the week video that I'm going to put on YouTube that you guys can share with your teams um, if you feel like the video is helpful. Um, but I just wanted to let everybody know why I haven't sent an email last week or this week, my laptop's broken. So um, I will be getting another laptop very soon, but until then I'm gonna have to do video form or go live, which I am going to be live one day this week. I just haven't figured out what day yet. Probably Wednesday, which is a holiday, but it's also the one day that I have some free time because I'm off work. So. Um, you can catch me live on Wednesday and we'll chat it up and talk about a few things. But for the video's sake, um, basically I just wanted to give you some tips for the week. Short, sweet, and simple. And then I wanted to address one thing that I feel like across the board we are all struggling with as far as like time. <laughs> um, everybody's life just seems so busy right now. And in talking to a lot of our teammates, one of the reasons they do or don't decide to work their business is time. So I want to try to help you with that. So let's talk about, you know, tips for the week. Number one, um, we do have a new collection that's coming out on Monday. It's our Ratatouille collection, which includes a warmer, a buddy, a scent pack, and a wax bar. Um, so definitely be marketing that and reaching out to your Disney fans who possibly would love the Ratatouille movie. And then look at that fragrance description. It's very different. <laughs> um, and there are people within our customer bases who like just that, who like things that are different. So check out that fragrance description and really talk about that a little bit because you may have some people who are interested in that collection just based on the fact that the fragrance is different. So um just you know a little fyi or a way to market it outside of just posting the pictures right um so there we have that we also have the break back my bar um early access kit which will be available um uh through the end of the month <laughs> sorry i lost my train of thought um we also have the sitting warmer of the month subscriptions that have already started processing but you do have to the 28th to enroll in that program and just remember um that is a very income producing program you get paid for the kit but then you can also turn around and sell everything within the kit and make your money back so you know and that's after you've done your marketing and and all the things and maybe save one bar for samples and stuff but it's very income producing and if you can't afford the warmer just get scent of the month that's what i do uh, when i don't want to pay the amount of money that that warmer is or if it's one that i don't necessarily like for myself um then i won't get the whole um subscription i'll just get scent of the month um, but I always get scent of the month just because I like having the brochures, the scented stickers, the pods, and all the things. Because, again, even if it's a scent that I don't like, I can turn around and resell it. So, um, very income-producing kit. So, just wanted to remind everybody that about that. We do have the joint promotion going on this, this month where new consultants um, can get the uh, tabletop diffuser. So, we definitely want to be continuing to, um, to share that. We have new... Um, curated bundles that are available so we want to continue to share those and then as well as we still have the summer collection which is still performing really well we have the warmer of the month which is still performing very well um, and then we also have the other collections inside out and lots of collections you can find all those on your website so continue to share that and then of course don't forsake your catalog products which are always amazing so uh, just a couple of ways to work this week just remember um, you know get that information out to your customers if you can send emails that sucks because I'm not really going to be able to send emails this week, um, but I'm going to rely on my text system. I do have a text messaging system that I use um, with my customers, so I am going to do that probably later on. I don't know if I want to do it today because it's Father's Day, but I may do it tomorrow at some point. Um, just sending out a text blast to everybody about it just because I can't send out emails. Um, so, yeah, so there's a couple of ways to work. Of course, you're going to share on your socials, but, you know, go beyond that. Do some personal reach outs for people that you think may be interested. Again, you know, we can't expect everybody to just jump up and down over the uh, Ratatouille collection <laughs> or any collection. You know, they, these collections are for, for targeted a targeted group of people. And so just figuring out who in your customer base is within that target group you know, will help you get some sales. Also remember the clearance has been updated. So there are lots of amazing things in the clearance section um, that you can create bundles with, mystery bags with, all kind of goodies or market the ad items as they are. Um, but I definitely encourage you, especially if you need sales to be, you know, looking at the lower price, you know, items that we have right now um, to help you out a little bit. So that may help. Um, and then as far as, you know, working this season, you know, when you are, 
um, push for time. And trust me, I get it. I know I've heard I've heard leaders, more than one leader, actually say, you know, if you don't make time to work your business, it's just not a priority for you. I I agree with that in a sense, but I disagree with that in another sense because you don't know what people are dealing with. You don't know what kind of time they have. You don't know what their household circumstances look like, um, what they are emotionally de dealing with, physically dealing with, you know. So I really kind of cringe when I hear people say that because you don't know what people are dealing with and you don't know what kind of time they have. And to say that it's not a priority based on your perspective of whether they should have time or not, that's not fair. It's not fair. So I don't want... Um, Anybody to ever feel like, oh, well, I must not be making this business a priority because I just have not had the time. Honey, we all are going to be there at some point. There are going to be things in our lives that we have to deal with. And time, and thinking about our Scentsy business doesn't mean it's not a priority, but there are other things that are more important. Okay? You are more important. Your family is more important. You know what I'm saying? So when you're dealing with those type of things, it doesn't mean that your business is not a priority. It just means that you have some things that are even more a priority. So I don't want you to feel bad if you just have not had the time to work your business. However, I do, as your leader, I do want to give you some suggestions that may help create some time for you. Um, this is something I tell you guys almost every week, but definitely use a planner system or print you a calendar and plan out your week. Y'all, that saves you so much time. You do not have to scroll Facebook to see what you can share this week. You don't have to scrounge to look for what you can share. You already have it right in front of you. Or you can utilize the content calendars that I provide for you every single month in our team page. Print it and use that, okay? But have a plan each day for what to do. That way, it literally will take you 10 seconds to share it on social media or whatever you need to do that day. You have time to do it because you know exactly what you're supposed to be doing. So that saves you time. So that's one time-saving tip. The other time-saving uh, time, time tip that I want to offer you is... When you do have spurts of time, use that to your advantage and take a bunch of photos and videos. So what I do is on the weekends, usually on Sundays, because Saturdays is kind of my runaround day or do, do things with my family day. So it's usually on Sundays when I don't have anything planned. Um, I sit down and I make videos and I make take pictures and I do TikToks and all kind of things that I may not share right away. I save this stuff in my phone so that in a moment where I don't have a lot of time, I got content on my phone. That is a game changer, y'all, because I'm going to tell you, like, for example, when I went to Hawaii, I did not have to stress about my business while I was in Hawaii because I had a bunch of content on my phone. Plus, I was sharing a part of my life with my customers. But everything that I needed was already in my phone, okay? And I do that on the days that I don't have a ton to do. So even if time is not your thing, but you just want to stay ahead, then take some time um, each, you know, even if it's just five minutes each day, you know, pick up a product and shoot a, shoot a video and you don't have to post it. Just save it in your phone and that will create some time for you. Another thing I suggest is really push Scentsy Club because while I was in Hawaii, Scentsy Club got me almost 500 in PRV. Didn't have to do anything to get it because these people were subscribed to Scentsy Club. So, you know, that actually is a game changer for you. If you're trying to get active, boom, Scentsy Club can do it for you. Trying to hit leadership numbers, Scentsy Club can do it for you. So if you can show the value, that's it's all about value value having people to see the value of Scentsy Club if you can do that you will get Scentsy Club subscribers okay so you know if that's not if that's not been a priority for you or it's not something you talk about a lot then talk about it a lot because that will save you some time to not have to worry about your PRV very much um the other thing is of course you can schedule posts on Facebook you know you can schedule posts on the different platforms to post automatically so that also saves you some time um, and then recycle post, okay? Like if you go back a year, um, those of you that have been here that long and see what you shared last year, recycle it. It is okay to recycle your post. It's fine. Um, because most of the time within a year, you have a whole new audience that you're talking to anyway, in addition to, you know, people who have been there, but there's new people that haven't seen it. So, you know, just keep that in mind as well. So, you know, taking those, oh, and the last thing I wanted to tell you was print your order history every month. Print every month and print it for the month before. And you can print your current one too, but specifically the month before. Because if you're, um, you know, away, but you maybe have five minutes to sit in your car and do something, you have the people who ordered from you last month, you have their contact information, you have emails cell phone numbers you have all of that with you and so when you have five minutes you can send out text messages hey do you want to party whatever it is okay so print your order history